Hi guys! Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. Welcome to TY's channel. <laughs> what as we're not supposed to be smiling in this video, but then again, it's a. Um, let's just go straight into the point. I mean, let's just jump right into it. I'm not jumping with you. So, let's just go right into it. Are you going with me? Hi guys! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. You say introduce the note. I do not need the introduction. You guys are familiar with this space. And it's those of Ayo and the Dean. Yes. Round of applause. The best girl ever. The lie is not true. <laughs> um, as much as we're not supposed to be smiling in this video, but then again, it's a chilled video, right? Obviously, from the title, it relating to the Nigerian election mm -hmm. and, you know, the Buaha that's been going along with it. Let's not even go deep into the traumatic experience of the election but then we pray nigeria gets better uh, i mean that's the prayer the suspense everywhere it's it, it's killing yeah, yeah it is and um i feel like almost all nigerians now are in that shoe yeah i saw I a post it. yesterday someone said that um i really need to read it the way i saw it okay someone actually said that the state of the nation now is that there is no protest and there is no jubilation hmm. so it's like we are just in between yeah. <laughs> so it's just a lot, but we'll be fine. Yeah. I know a lot of people are affected, but please try and just protect your own mental health as much as possible. Because it's when we are alive that we can eat the fruit of the land when it becomes food, right? Mm -hmm. So let's just protect our mental space as much as possible. Yeah. So yeah. Um today's topic is the aftermath of the election, right? Or the aftermath. Yeah, it is aftermath. Yeah. I mean, whatever happens now is I mean the election exactly. has come and gone. Yeah. So, a lot of things have been going on, like friendship breakup, in fact, relationship breakup self at this point. Well, that's what we are talking about in this um, video. Can you end friendship over political view or choice? I'm basically discussing politics and friendship. So, those of my own, what do you think? Like, is it okay to stop being friends with your friend? Or is it okay to stop being friends with someone because of their political stance? Is it okay to be friends with someone supporting a political party you believe is dangerous, bad, or do you think it shouldn't matter? See, um, I feel like this topic is actually dicey mm. because I've been at both sides. In the sense that there was someone that I was talking to, a friend, and because of his uh, political view, so to say, I was beginning to have like, what kind of person is this person? Mm. Now, I've also been at the receiving end where people actually... Okay, so I have a friend who at some point we were talking and he was like, Are you, what are you going to vote for? And I jokingly said someone. And then he was like, Lie, lie. Oh, thank you, me at Romo. Like, you don't want both of us to be talking again. You don't want me to talk to you again. And I was like, Why? Be of course, because you are supporting this. But how can you support it? You know, it was beginning to take it personal. And it wasn't just one person. There are several other people like that who ask me that, do you have PVC? Who are you voting for? And I say, I'm voting for so, so, so person. It's like, lie, lie, ah, you don't want me to be talking to you. So, and I've also been on the other end too. So I kind of, the reason why I said it's dicey is because we've seen it play out so for me. Because someone said, he, 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 the person didn't just stand by the person. He was giving me reasons. He was saying some of these things, you know, he mentioned some very sensitive topics. Like, if he says that thing outside, they might just stone him because of the strong, you know, political view and all of that. So I was beginning to have, like, a, what kind of person is this? I, I became open-minded at some point. Like, do you really, do we really want to judge people based on their political view? Now, the reason I'm, I feel like I'm still going round and round, I've not really hit the nail on the head. Okay. But the truth is, one's political view has a lot to say about them yeah. because who you support is like you see something in them do you understand you like some things about them so i feel like it's because you can resonate you can relate to some of Absolutely. the things they do yeah you like how they do it you like their mindset you like how they think i mean it's because you can relate that's why you are supporting that person but i don't think you should end friendship actually people are entitled to their opinion but it can actually define how i relate with you <laughs> I don't it's know true. if I've made sense, no, you, but you, you, you did make sense. Yeah, because 
I agree with you. It's just like saying, show me your friend and I will know exactly. who you are. People you relate with, like you said, people you mingle with, people you are around with, mm. will tell a whole lot about you. Let me use both of us as an example. The way I am, I know we have uh, maybe different personality that can be friends. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, like, you can almost say, oh, both of you are the same personality. That's why you are moving together. Exactly. Together. Maybe you are both mm-hmm. extra. Because if most times gone, our destiny are always almost yeah. the same. Uh-huh. So I can imagine relating to someone that does not really have so much vibe. And me, I have so much vibe. I don't know if you get. I understand. So somehow there's there's an atom of relatability. There's an atom of something that connects both of you together. Like you said, maybe it's the way this person behaves. Maybe it's the way this person thinks. I know it could also be oh, this is what this person has done. Now, like you also said, it's tricky. I would say it's a yes or no question, depending on how the situation is. So, for example, where you can table your own view in a non-aggressive manner, mm-hmm. in a in a way that you're not looking, you're not you're not coming off as desperate, you're not coming off as strong-willed, and you're not coming off as not being open-minded. I think the the major thing is when when the two parties are open-minded. Yes. So we you can able to relate to you can agree to disagree. Okay, let me give you an instance. I won't mention them, but I'll mention it to you. Okay. <laughs> I won't say it to you. Mm-hmm. You know it's supportive. Mm-hmm. Why? I watched um, their documentary, I think it's on Netflix, I don't know. You know it's having a mm. health challenge. And they mentioned how oh, and maybe it's mother. They mentioned how this particular candidate and persons maybe mother or family, how they've been beneficial to them in mm-hmm. one way or the other. Mm-hmm. Imagine okay, maybe that person is even your family member. Mm-hmm. Although to be very honest, I mean, if, for example, I have somebody in my family member and I don't trust the person, mm-hmm. I will not vote for you. Mm-hmm. And I will encourage people to do mm-hmm. the same. So, again, it can actually speak a lot about you, your character. Some persons were saying things like, can you be friend with someone that you, you believe is dangerous? Like, you believe that maybe that political party or the candidate is dangerous? Or can you remain friend with someone that rigs election? Can you be friend with someone that snatch ballot box, someone that sells their votes? Or a court member transmitting the wrong result? Or your friend at collation center that changed the number? You know, this, even this, desperate this, and uh, criminal... Values and integrity yes, issues. issues. If you can go to the extent of stealing ballot paper, Changing numbers, it means you don't have integrity. Exactly. It's like so, being friends with a thief exactly. or being friends with arm robber. Okay, exactly. people that are injuring another person, mm-hmm. people that are taking uh, what is this now, causing riots, beating people, snatching people's from. Can you be friends no, with those I people? No, I can't be friends exactly. with Exactly, because people. at the end of the day, they are still truncating the process. Exactly. They are still injuring some. But I feel like that's like an extreme case. Yes. Speaking of political view. You mentioned something. You you mentioned the fact that it's um there was a point there was a point you mentioned which I wanted to respond to about the fact that uh, one needs to be open minded yeah. and something like that. I have a colleague who is supporting a particular candidate. This is the candidate that people don't want to even hear. <laughs> we already know. Yeah. And he was like, "Are you? Uh-uh, so why are you voting for?" I said, "Who are you voting for?" He said, "This is the person I'm voting for." I said, "Uh-uh, because this is someone I respect." And I was like, "Why?" He said, "I will sit down." Look at this, look mm. at this. Let me tell you this. This is this, this is this. I was like, mm. I've never seen it from this angle, angle. before. He made this, but he told me why he was supporting this person. He gave me reasons. And if not that, I'm, I've already made up my mind yeah. or I know what I'm supporting, what I'm supporting. I would have, with all the things he said, I would have actually gone for who he told me to vote for. It was healthy. Exactly. It wasn't like. I show me your when you're mad. Why would you vote for you? That you're a bad girl, you that you are, you know, all of it wasn't like it was just to me. So I know we are voting for, of course, it's like the you know, the thing, the trending thing, and all of that. So, why are you voting for? We are voting for, and I said at some point, I was like, okay, this is said, no, this is this. Have you grown to have you read this? Go and read your history, go and do this, and all of that. That is nice. Yeah, for and example, that kind where, of friend, you can't cut off that person. Exactly. You can't block that and that's person. where being open-minded, open-minded is. is. Because the truth is, we really can't judge people. Hmm. We see what we see. And you yeah. see the social media, media, you know, they make you see what they want to see. Yeah. All of these individuals have their strengths and, and weaknesses. Yeah. The Absolutely. truth is, we all know that none of them is perfect. Yes. They are all far from perfect. Yeah. It's like someone said we are choosing lesser evil. I'm not saying this other person Just is evil. evil. I'm not mentioning names, yeah. but then all of them, politicians will be politicians. Mm-hmm. There are nice ones, but politicians will be politicians. Yeah. So it's just basically, you know, sticking to, uh, I've lost my point. 
I can't mm-hmm. remember. I get you. Through. But then let me let me pick up from some, something you said. If I have a question like that here. Like, what if the person is your family member? You let's say even the people that are like blocking somebody else. Let's just say they are also not being open minded. Because as much as you said, example you gave mm-hmm. was not toxic, was healthy. Mm-hmm. Some people will still say the fact that you are even supporting that person. I don't have. Like, yes, I do no. not have any business with you. And I don't care what whatever strengths you claim this person have. I don't care whatever explanation you have to give. I'm just done. So go on. Yes, so yes. no, so you don't lose your line of thought. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, me, I can't. Uh, actually, yes. Yeah. Okay, so we also need to understand that there is a backstory. Mm. There is a backstory. People were not like this two years ago. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, I have read Nigerian history. I've not done that in years. The things I know now about the nation and yeah. her politics about people who are leaders, past leaders, I didn't show interest before, but somehow I'm beginning to learn history and just find out some things. Yeah. There is a backstory. There are reasons why people are acting like this. People are angry. Mm-hmm. There has been cases of injustice. For a long not time. Not one, not twice, not three times. There, are, there have been cases of injustice. There have been, there have been cases of maltreatment. Yeah. There has been no accountability. Yeah. It's like when people have been managing. Yeah especially the youth, Mm -hmm. and then they've gotten to the peak. And it's like, this is what we want. Mm -hmm. We are tired. If they see that you, you are still supporting this person. Exactly. With all the things that we went through, with all the hardship. It's like, we don't, we get this person in. No, 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 no. Go away. That's the point people are. It wasn't like, politics was not like this. Mm -hmm. This year, it it has been like a game changer in politics in Nigeria. Even the 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 candidates the parties they are yeah. not expecting what is happening yes so it's coming from anger yeah. it is coming from enough is enough, enough. Mm-hmm. that is why people are all over the place yeah. angry yeah. i saw a post where someone begged for money and then the person <laughs> is from another party I saw that post. and the person said that because I'm you are sorry, supporting I this person if i did use that name it was the username <laughs> <laughs> because you are supporting this person I am not going to yeah. give you money. I was actually going to go to that too. Well, that, <laughs> okay, that, that's a, that's the um, part B of the family <laughs> member. That what if the person is your family member? What if the person is your colleague at work? What if the person is your boss? Because the reason I'm asking this is, I know we are angry. To be honest, I mean, I'm part of those people that are angry. This country has shown us shaggy. I, I mean, every one of us has had our own fair share. Oh, my point is the way people say, "Oh, I'm I'm canceling you. I'm blocking you. I'm cutting you off. Friendship, you can cut off. You can mm-hmm. block." You can delete, you can ignore, you can do anything. But what if the person is your family member? I mean by family, I'm not saying distant, distant family, your immediate family member. I mean, all of you cannot all put it down, put it in one place. Exactly. What if the person is your colleague at work that you cannot do without, that you cannot cut, you cannot block? You what if the person is your boss? And for some people, they might just like, this you know, some people will tell you that, see, I know we, we have to just be with each other or relate with each other, but this thing has defined the relationship. It has think, defined how I see you. I get but you know it can actually affect long run. No, it can. It can. I saw somebody's comment. The person said the person lost the person's job, relationship, and friendship on this political moment. The bloating job. Uh, yeah, it's possible. Yeah. So you're yeah, supporting. No, I'm not supporting. I'm saying that the the level of anger and yeah. the way people are taking it is that is possible. But do you think I was talking was it both of us that were discussing okay. that there's someone that there is a celebrity that came out boldly had baby supporting a particular <laughs> candidate. And I was like you need to be sensitive. Yes. You need to understand I'm the, a already, no, You no, need no, to no. understand where you are. These are people that who, they could get angry to the extent that they start reporting you to somewhere. They will say, sign this petition. Yeah. This person must not come to UK again. You have to study the environment. You environment you are. are. You, are in you act like you are. Romance. Even if you are supporting someone, not like you not be shouting it mm-hmm. and saying yeah. that Maybe. mess you up. And there's some husband and wife. I know husband and wife. I have people that are married around. The husband is supporting candidate A. The wife is supporting candidate B. Me and his wife, we talked about candidate B on the phone. And sometimes we'll be like, what are you talking about? You push better stuff what you're talking about. And then he gets angry. But the husband and wife, they'll go and meet on the bed. Now, now that's been, you know that it's not a toxic situation right there. They are elderly, not agreeing. So you think that there will be husband and wife that they have different political views and they will not be toxic? That it will be toxic, that they can lose that marriage because of that. You don't ah, know. Ah, 
Did you hear what I said that somebody lost relationship? Marriage, relationship, yeah. Marriage. Ah, marriage. Yeah. People will not meet on the at night. It's eh? possible, do you know? Okay, so if the, the same anger that you are bringing, the same vibe that you are using to cut off friendship, you think it will happen in marriage? No, no, it shouldn't. Why? So why should marriage all be different and friendship should be different? <laughs> no, I, 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 because, yes, now, the husband and wife, it's not like, it's not like they are siblings. Did they do us part? No political view help. Excuse me, people of God, help us contribute to this matter. Okay. So it actually happened. It happened. I saw the person's comments. What was the person thinking? Okay, if somebody can lose job, I mean, source of life livelihood. So that's my point. I'm not saying that people should not be angry because I'm also angry, right? I'm not saying that this, but I feel like there should be like, you can be hungry and still not be violent and still not take things so personal that it's out exactly. of control. Exactly. That's the word. Like, People have personalized it so much let's, that... Let's be careful with our anger. Yes. Do not bomb bridges. Don't yes. talk. There are some people that they, they talk to people they are not supposed to talk to. Yes. The person that will help them. They yes. mess the yes. person up. Yes. Yes. And then all these things will end. These exactly. people are friends. Exactly. These people are partners. They know where they meet. Uh-huh. And then you've messed up relationships because of your political view. It shouldn't be toxic. It no, shouldn't, shouldn't be toxic. I know. I mean, you can get, for example, maybe somebody that is not open-minded, that is supporting candidates, Maybe a the candidate that we all know that we should all support the quotes, right? And the person is presenting the person's case in a very like um toxic way, not open minded. Mm-hmm. You get, I can you can cut that person off. Mm-hmm. But somebody that is just explaining to you, oh, this is why I feel like that example that I told you about mm-hmm. that just feel they feel that oh this person has really helped us. Mm-hmm. They are they are old. These people I'm talking about, they are both old. They feel mm-hmm. that oh this person has really contributed so much to us. Oh, this is the reason why and and there, there will be a lot of things that people are not even saying. I'm not talking of the one that say because he has helped us in our industry, then the whole Nigeria should be in trouble because of that. I'm not talking of that one. Mm-hmm. Now you will see that those people that said ah this person has been this see eh, the way people have the mm-hmm. angle that this person is showing you might not be the, the angle, angle that, that someone else is yes, saying. Yes, exactly. That's my point. So this might be the part they've been seeing a lot of positive parts and they feel like oh this is who I vote. But notice that they are not like carrying all the crowd and say okay by force because we are voting for this person. All of you should also vote for the person. Uh-huh. So I think in whole you can you can cut off people that you want to cut off, but also be careful, like be wise, be wise and know that oh this person is necessary that you cut this person off know when to set boundaries still i mean that's the yeah the i told you that i was telling that there are some people that you don't even know who they are voting for they are even for, they are probably voting for who you don't want them to, to vote, vote for. for and they won't tell you they won't tell you <laughs> because they don't want you to come <laughs> and finish them exactly. so you're like i say hey this person mm-hmm. for this person. Meanwhile, yeah at the end of the day it's one man for himself so tell you but what so, do you guys really think should 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 you cut off friendship because of you know political views. So do you think that people should cut off friendship? So have you answered that do people should cut do people Yes, I answered. I said it's a yes and no, like it's tricky. It's tricky. Cut off the ones that you know that is is necessary to be like necessary evil to cut off. But the ones that you know that I mean even you know that ah, there's no kilo kilo the toy jiggers. In aside cutting off, there are other ways that you can you can ignore, you can keep the person at distance, but don't bump bridges like you said, unnecessarily because of this. That's yeah, my, that's my thoughts. So let yeah. us know what you guys think in the comments. Yeah, section. it's very important. I want to, I want to hear other people's thoughts. Yeah, because we feel like this is a very hot topic. Mm-hmm. So you guys should drop what you think. And have you cut someone off? Yes, let, let us know. In this election, <laughs> let us know. Me, I was at the verge of cutting someone off. Yeah, you cut someone off. Only keep the person at <laughs> distance. I can't shout this. See. I, I, no, I okay, so what is stop you to you? You don't have like a strong. You are not a political. Me, I'm not. I'm not though. But then again, if I see that, like, I'm not a political person, but I can know where somebody stands on this, so I won't even go near that topic. Exactly. Because I already you know. Already know, where, know where, where you stand. Yeah. So and that, if I don't know, if you're just beginning it, and I see the way you are taking it, you're not open-minded. You see, the arms length that will keep you here, see, go long from here. <laughs> I might not necessarily cut off, depending. Mm. If you're not useful to me, why would I cut you off? Exactly. If you're not useful, I'll cut you off. Exactly. If you're a valuable person, you know, the, the interesting thing is most of these friendships are online, online, at Twitter friendships. Mm. You know, there's a way social media just brings people together that you feel like, like this person is my friend. Yeah. friend. I mean, it's different. Mm-hmm. We can't be talking politics now. <laughs> now <laughs> to, uh, Imagine if uh, <laughs> 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 you know, like, uh, supporting. That's why like you tell me that. 
Ah, uh-uh, no, babe. why would you support this kind of person? What are you telling <laughs> exactly. me? Exactly. Yes. Yes. But that and, doesn't mean and that. they will just, you know, talk about this, give her abuse. But it's not that. But so you know, social media has kind of make people feel like yeah, this person's friend is my yeah. friend. I will follow you. So what? Are you on following me in real life? So <laughs> exactly. there's, a, there's a thing that social media is bringing, like there's a mindset yeah. that Twitter, exactly all those things that are making people feel like they're entitled to who you, you know. You can, you can, you know, if you are very strategic and positive with even your political views, there's a way you can even make people believe in what you believe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You don't have to. You make people. points. You tell people why they should vote for yeah. this person and why you are supporting this person. So I can see the other way. Like, mm, I didn't see it for me. I'm, this is the person I'm voting mm-hmm, for. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't have to be. Ah, uh-uh, so this person. Yeah. Ah. It's not that serious. It's although that it's a serious it's matter. It's a serious thing. Yeah, but yeah. then again. You just have to be wise. You should be careful. Be careful too. Yeah. Yeah. So let's know what you guys because those candidates they are friends. They, they don't shake each other. Exactly. You can we can see it's already playing out. Exactly. Okay. Ah. They will go and shake hands. Ogami. Ogami. You know, I saw yeah. somebody said this that my boss. Somebody even shared on Twitter that at the peace this thing they went to sign one of the I think one of the vice I was saying my uncle, my uncle to someone. So you then see that you know politics is a game. You know we should not you know destroy relationships we've built over the years yeah. because well, let's come together and if you don't agree yeah. it's not all the time that we agree Absolutely. we agree to disagree mm-hmm. you can be in your space but do yeah. not manage it to a shot. Uh, yeah. yeah make it a healthy you know okay thing. so you guys we are done here but we have a very 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 interesting topic and video going on on uh, on <laughs> those of us channel. channel more like a continuation, continuation of what we started this, yeah. here and we want you to join in on the conversation yeah. so hey, that one is even more you know head juicy. head over this is it. this is juicy but that one is juicy yeah <laughs> <laughs> juicy, juicy. i'm gonna see you there okay so bye see you guys That's my